Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the Moto G dual sim version that is officially sold in India and out of the box it comes with the Android version 4.3 uh, but today that is February 14th 2014 uh, we do get the uh, Android update that is KitKat let me show you as you can see it's running on the 4.3 version as of now and let's check uh, if, and as you can see it says that we have a software update and it's the Android 4.4.2 that is the KitKat update and I'm going to update it over Wi-Fi and it's a 230 MB uh, uh, update so let me just download it I hit the download button and it should start downloading actually and as you can see yeah it is actually downloading the software update so it will take a couple of minutes uh, when it's done I'll proceed and as you can see the software update is uh, done and now it's just verifying the update and uh, we can proceed and as you can see it says the install update and it says that will take about five minutes actually it takes about uh, eight to nine minutes and make sure your phone is charged before doing this update and we can install it later or install it now we'll install it now and uh, you don't have to worry about the data or the apps uh, that is there on the phone it will stay intact so let's hit install now and it will reboot our device again the updating procedure is very similar to other android phones uh, you just need to be a little bit patient but i'll uh, show you the procedure anyways And as you can see, it's uh, actually rebooting now. And now it's actually installing the update. You just need to be a little bit patient uh, because it can take uh, some time. So I'll just skip this portion. It might take about uh, two minutes. I'll let it do it and we'll continue. And that install is almost done and it did take a lot of time, I would say. Uh, about uh, five to six minutes and now again it's uh, restarting our Moto G it gave me a haptic feedback and again uh, this uh, boot will take a lot of time don't panic uh, after the upgrade generally uh, the first boot does take a lot of time on Android devices I'll just skip past this uh, booting screen because it can take a minute or two and as you can see now it's optimizing the android apps and it's upgrading again this will take about a, a minute or two based on number of apps that you have so i'll just skip this and move to the next screen and the upgrade has been done and now it will boot and as you can see it has booted down so let's just uh, unlock it and as you can see you won't find any major difference one thing you'll notice that now on the home screens the back uh, home buttons are transparent earlier we had a what do you say black strip over here uh, so let's look at the android version now let's go there let's go to the settings again if you go to the settings as you can see some of the icons have been changed now and uh, let's go to about the device and it says that the upgrade was completed and let's go to about the phone and as you can see we are running the latest version of android that is 4.4.2 that is android version kitkat so we have successfully upgraded our uh, what do you say android phone uh, let's look at uh, some other settings uh, the dialer uh, will be the new kind of dialer this is the new dialer that we get you can get to the keypad here also uh, we get hangouts so uh, that can merge the sms hangouts into one let's look at one more settings uh, i just want to check this one about dual sim uh, let's go to mobile networks uh, again yes we do have that option of preferred network type this was added this was actually missing on the earlier update and actually just today i made a video about it how to force 3g on the dual sim version but fortunately now we have the option of preferred network to 3g or 2g on uh, this dual sim version also so this is how you upgrade your moto g dual sim to android version 4.4.2 uh, that is kitkat just make sure that your battery is charged at least 75 percent before you attempt this upgrade 
I have also made around 15 other videos on the Moto G covering various aspects like USB OTG, how to customize the LED notification light, etc. Links will be in the YouTube show notes. Uh, so that's it for now for this uh, KitKat update on the Moto G. Thank you. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.